What's up you guys? I hope you are having a good one. Let me ask you a question. Do you ever do this? When you are on GitHub and you need to browse through code in some repo, you are just too lazy to clone the repo on your local machine and view it in a code editor on your own computer and you rather end up just clicking the files open and viewing them in the browser. Even though this is quite slow and tedious way to study a repo, well, I must admit that I am that lazy person who just ends up browsing the files in the browser. Or at least I was that person. Because just the other day I discovered this uh, super awesome feature on GitHub where you can actually open up a repository with VS Code inside the browser with just one press of a button. Yeah, you heard that right. You can use VS Code inside GitHub in your browser. If we haven't met before, my name is Tuomo, I'm a Finnish web developer and on this channel I upload weekly videos and tutorials about modern web development. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. And while you do that, I'll make myself a cup of coffee before showing you how to actually use VS Code inside GitHub. Okay, now that you are subscribed and I have my coffee, let's jump right into it. I have a repository open on GitHub and this is actually my own website's repo. So how can I open this up inside GitHub with VS Code? Well, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is to press the period key on our keyboard. So I'll press period. And we can see a message and then a new view opens up and right here we have Visual Studio Code open inside our browser and it has our repository open so we can browse all the files that are inside the repository. So for example we can open up the pages folder and check out the index and we got all the code right here. And this way we actually get better, uh, much better understanding of the repo and of the code. And it's just like if I cloned the repo on my own computer and opened it up in VS Code. But that's not all we can do with this. We can actually make changes with this uh, VS Code editor as we would normally. So let's for example open up the readme file and actually add a line here and make a modification. like this and I can save this then I switch to the source control tab and we can see the change over here and right here we can stage the changes and then uh, type in a commit message and actually commit the changes in to the repository so let's add the message like this and then just commit and changes are live. Now if I view this repo again in GitHub, we can see that our modification was committed 33 seconds ago and the modification is on the repo. But committing is not all we can do, we can also uh, create new branches, pull requests, uh, search the entire repo uh, like we do in VS Code and all that good stuff. There are a couple of things we can't do and one of them is using the run and debug. So it says that run and debug are not available in this environment. And we would need to uh, clone this repo on our local development machine in order to use it. And one other thing is the uh, VS Code terminal. It says terminals are not available in this environment. But being able to open our repo uh, with Visual Studio Code inside GitHub, inside our browser, is just an uh, amazing feature. And it's just another cool thing that GitHub is doing. 
So I did a little research what this feature is and it seems that this is a part of a bigger feature that is coming to GitHub called GitHub Code Spaces. With Code Spaces you can create developer environments in cloud which eliminates the need of setting up and maintaining developer environments locally. At the moment Code Spaces is in beta so it's not publicly available yet but GitHub team is already using Code Spaces to develop GitHub so it probably won't be long until Code Spaces is also publicly available. All this is very impressive and I can't wait to test out Code Spaces more. It's also interesting to see if developing in the cloud will be a thing in the future and setting up developer environments locally will be a thing in the past. Let me know in the comments what you think will be the case. Talking about Git and VS Code, watch this video over here next where you will learn about a must-know feature in VS Code. I'll see you there.